I'm Kyle, your bartender, and I'm going to show you how to make the best margarita ever. Look, a lot of people on both sides of the bar have little tricks they like to use to make their margarita special. Splash of OJ! Muddle some jalapeno! Well, I'm something of a self-proclaimed margarita expert, and with all due respect, I think all these little tricks are unnecessary. In my opinion, nothing beats a margarita with the right ingredients perfectly balanced. Five ingredients. Tequila, Cointreau, lime juice, ice, kosher salt. Real talk, I'm gonna show you how to make the best margarita you've ever had, but to keep things fresh, I'm using two brands I've never used before. And the first one has to do with the last ingredient on Archer's list. The truth is, I hate salt. I mean, of course I love it, but I've never liked salt on my margaritas. I know I'm not making any friends here, but I always thought it just gets in the way which is why my curiosity was piqued when the good people at Halo Del Santo reached out to me. Halo Del Santo is a company out of Fort Worth that makes boutique rimming salt. The closest thing I can compare it to is tahine, and frankly, I've never liked tahine. I think it's boring and lacks depth. But this stuff is different. It's complex, has a nice citrus note thanks to the addition of lime, and has just the right amount of kick. It's a rimming salt for the guy that hates rimming salts. I've been using this stuff for weeks now, and it's a great addition to micheladas, and now I'm gonna try it on a margarita. Oh, they also make these bad boys. So the good people at Halo Del Santo, thank you. I love making new friends and this stuff will now be a fixture in my home. Also, the screw top is clutch. The other new brand I'm using today is El Sativo and even though it's been on the market less than a year, I have had it, but I've never made a margarita with it. Now before I taste this, I need to talk horticulture for a second. Tequila is made from agave and there are organic compounds that occur naturally in agave called terpenes and these terpenes have particular health benefits. In the case of agave, they are mood lifting and energy boosting. These are typically stripped out during distillation, but El Sativo uses a proprietary distillation process that maintains the benefits of these terpenes. And before anybody asks, no, I'm not saying drinking this is good for you. You know, moderation and all. But if you're shelling out for the good stuff, you might as well get the one with the health benefits. Just saying. Okay, enough. Let's try it. That's lovely. Slight floral notes, aloe vera. If there are any agave nerds watching this, this comes from the lowlands of Jalisco. It is single state, non-GMO, and organic, and it tastes like it. Stone fruit, white pepper, long finish, delightfully complex for a Blanco. I could definitely sip this. Quite nice. This is premium tequila. It is also 2020's tequila of the year. <laughs> It's true, this won double gold at this year's San Francisco World Spirits Competition. All right, time to talk turkey, but before we get to my preferred margarita recipe, there are two others that are pretty common and should be addressed. The first is the Tommy's Margarita, and the second is what I'd call the Daisy Spec. The Tommy's was invented in the early 90s at the San Francisco restaurant of the same name. It's a normal marg, except it swaps triple sec for agave nectar. A lot of bars make margaritas like this, including my bar, and if you've never had a margarita without triple sec, you owe it to yourself to try one. It's beautiful in its simplicity. I'll put the recipe in the description. Second, the Daisy Spec. The Daisy is a drink that I think goes back to the 1860s. That's one and a half ounce spirit, one ounce orange liqueur of some kind, and a half ounce citrus. The sidecar is probably the most well-known example, but there are others. Some bars make margaritas according to this spec, but the result is too sweet, which is why a lot of places will up the line to three quarters or even a full ounce. But even when balanced, margaritas made in this template lack the nuance of the drink I'm about to give you. With all of that out of the way, let's do this. Admittedly, there is a lot to consider. Cointreau or triple sec, agave nectar, no agave nectar. My pal Archer doesn't mention agave nectar, but I'm using it anyway. He could kick my ass in real life, but he's not a bartender and I am, so I'm pulling rank here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna break this shit down for you right. Here we go. Start with a full two ounces of tequila. Add three quarter ounce of lime, half an ounce of Cointreau, and yes, it has to be Cointreau, and a quarter ounce of agave nectar. Salt your glass, shake, strain, garnish, and that is the best margarita you'll ever have. Salud. <laughs> yeah, it's the best margarita on earth. Tart, but not too tart. The orange is just peeking through. But like any good margarita, the tequila is the star of the show. El Sativo and Halo Del Santo are both solid brands. If you want to check them out, and I recommend you do, there's information about each in the description. If you liked it, hit like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice professionals, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and they also make the...